Yo. What's up, Elvazi? What's up, Payne? What's up, Blake? Bearded. Uh, vintage. Shadow M. Fredly. <clears throat> Doing good, man. Thanks for the good luck. How are you? Thanks for the good luck, Lucent. What's up? Doing great. Glad to hear it. Up so tomorrow you reckon depends how busy I am I might I might not even stream tomorrow like it depends because I'm gonna be busy getting I'm just like doing stuff in life and like getting ready for the funeral on Friday but other than that if I find time I will be grinding this herd uh... <clears throat> I wanted to practice this, um, like avoiding the aggro on this gunner. I still have not practiced this once. I keep forgetting.
The croucher. <clears throat> okay, I need a visual cue for this. Thanks for the good luck, witch. Why do I keep getting stuck there now? What the fuck? Welcome to Chili's. Antonio, Roberto, thanks for the follow. <clears throat> Arden, thanks for the follow, mate. What's up, Fox? What's up, Sil? I don't know why his AI broke though. Dude, can you imagine if we found like Arco AI break? <clears throat> it probably exists. You probably just have to shit your pants at the right angle, and then it it happens.
Yo, Gokhan AI break makes no sense. <clears throat> I explained it to Dis the other day. And he's, he just laughed. Um, what else? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, well, tomorrow I gotta go get a haircut because my hair's shocking right now. And uh, there's a couple other things I need to go shopping for. And then, yeah. Um, got to get ready for the funeral on Friday. I want to try doing this, just jumping off the branch. Cause I like Lamont posted a clip. Uh. Of like years ago when I did it this way. I just wanted to look at it again. Okay, I can't even I can't even like land on the cliff now. I don't know how like how I did it that way. Was I oh I must have been like dash jumping, I guess. I don't know. I feel like if you like oh, look at that, first try. I was gonna say like jumping off like that. Like, makes it look so easier to line up. Like, I, I think, like, sprinting off like this is so dumb. It just, like, spits you out at a random spot. It's fucking awkward as. That's, that's, I think that's why, like, for so long, Double Canyon has been so fucking random for me. Because, like, I can't... I hate how you, like, sprint along this fucking branch and get, like, spat out in a random direction. It feels like you're getting loaded up on a cannon and just, like, shot out randomly. And then you have to, like, correct yourself. At least you have a bit more control with, with like, the line you're taking. If you, like, just jump off. And I don't think it's, like, any slower, really. <clears throat> yeah, who knows? It could be like, uh, it could just be like, what do you call it? What do you call it? Like the system tray or whatever? Like, you know, I'm, in like Dark Souls 3, if you do like all the exact same actions in the same order, you almost certainly will like crash the game at the exact same point every time. Like, I remember when I was doing DS3 all bosses, that would happen. But maybe like it's the same thing in this game. You just like, you reach a certain value and then the game just shits out. But you have to do the exact same things. It's weird, it's like, it doesn't make fucking sense. Like, like you talk to, you have to do Emma dialogue, then you have to jump on Ungo Headless, and then it works. It's like, what? What do you mean? But it's like, oh, only if you, like, swim up as Ungo Headless is swinging at you. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? How the fuck does that make sense? I wonder, like, is it only if you swim up, like, while he's swinging at you, or, like, if you just swim up at any point during that fight? Like, why? Why?
Uh, fucking crouch. Okay, it's not working. What's up, Sadie? Thank you. Wait, if you look at like the no hit run where I first discovered that AI break, like I don't even do. I don't even do the same order of things to cause the AI break, but whatever I did in that no hit run. Somehow add it up to the same value or whatever, which caused the AI break. You know, I first discovered that AI break when doing all bosses hitless, and I was like, what? Like, why the fuck? Like, his AI would break every time. Because I would do the, I would do things in the exact same order every time. But, like, it wasn't happening in the speedrun. I was like, what the fuck? I mean, like, like I've seen like go I've seen Arco Headless's AI break as well. That's the thing. Like, I I just showed it in like the even in the save file there, like just loading in. I feel like that's just something that Headless does sometimes, but there's probably more to it. Like, there's probably something that actually causes it. Like, if you can force it to happen to Goku, probably ways you can do it on other bosses too. They definitely, like, react to something in the world that just, like, makes them shit out. Spinning out of control. If there's a grave behind my eyes, then how do the dead find a, find a sign of life? Slim Seki, you reckon? Can the real Slim Seki please stand up? Can I get a higher? Oops. Higher? Find a sign of life. Bear your blood.
my good. It worked three times in a row. It must be consistent. I think the reason I started doing it this way was because it... Dude, four times in a row. Because it gives you more of a run-up. Like, if you just jump off the branch rather than sprint off, you have, like, more of a running platform. And so, therefore, you should have a wider window. Half the pro like, half the time the prob- five times in a row. <laughs> Dude, half the time the problem is with double canyon skip is, like, you don't have enough of a fucking run-up to, like, actually jump. That's why you have to, like, like, you kind of have to awkwardly, like, come off diagonally. So you have, like, enough of a diagonal path to, like, reach the rock before you can even jump off. But this, like, by doing it this way, you can, like, just beeline it to the corner and ensure that you have enough of a run-up every time. It's more, it should be more accurate in theory. The passwords. Seems like you have to delay the jump slightly. More than the other way. I also think like how far you flick your stick out makes a major difference. Like sometimes if you flick it out too far, it just straight up doesn't like work. Or if you just flick it out slightly, it seems to work more. But you have to have like the right a angle to do that. I feel like you got nowhere. It's like that sometimes.
Dude, open the fuck. I hate when it like just doesn't alt tab out. Fuck me. Every time I like alt tab in and out of this game, I get like a black screen for like 10 seconds. It's fucking annoying. Lock on jumping is better. Just locking on, like, it doesn't matter which direction, but locking on, you jump way further. Gotta take my elite controller back tomorrow as well. I'll be the one Leave you in your misery and hate what you become
Uh, the Elite Controller A button was unresponsive out of the box. Straight out of the box. The shit design. Hey. Oh my god, I have no idea how I keep fucking missing that Ash. Eh? Don't crouch. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I was really happy with it other than <laughs> the non-responsive A button. Like, I couldn't even get past the tutorial without the controller just eating my jump. Like, if you press the A button in from any angle other than directly in the center of the A button, it just doesn't fucking register. Like, are you serious? Like, they literally designed it in a way where, like, uh, like, if you press the A button at the wrong angle, it just doesn't, like, hit the button, like, underneath. Like, how the fuck could you design a premium high material $250 Xbox controller from Microsoft that it doesn't even fucking like register the A button like dude it, it literally is like the exact same design as a regular controller and somehow it doesn't fucking work and you look it up online and like everyone else has the same problem what's up Elysia <clears throat> uh, thanks for the good luck, Dr. Mo.
it's a shame because other than that like it's so it seems like such good design like i mean the the kit that it comes in is really cool like it's easy to customize like it's all magnetic like you can easily take the sticks off switch them out and you can even like adjust the tension on the sticks to make it harder to accidentally crouch which is like a lifesaver for me because that's what that's the problem i'm having right now it's like the entire reason i got the elite is because like with the standard xbox controllers the tension on the sticks is like actually shocking like how easy it is to accidentally crouch especially like this is a the one i'm using right now is like a standard controller brand new out of the box like i opened it a week ago and immediately like the sticks are so fucked like i keep constantly accidentally crouching like it's insane how sensitive they've made them Uh, thank you so much for the six months ego. Welcome back, dude. Enjoy the new sub badge. Appreciate the continued support. I hope you're doing well. Glad to hear you doing well. Lucky RNG there. Okay. I'll take that.
<clears throat> yeah, it's gonna be good. Thanks for the good luck, guys. a weird angle. Hmm. Could have played that better. I should have strafed around him more at the beginning. Yeah, I love getting tutorial pop-ups like right at the fucking cliff, dude. It's my favorite. Fucking good. Game's trolling.
Sekiro Shadow is literally, I think Sekiro Shadow is become, has the reputation of like the next Geo. Hey, four years CBD. Look at that sex in your sub badge. Dude, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, dude. Legend. See, now that's some commitment right there. Four. The Demon Bell sub badge. New Architect song goes hard. I can't wait for their full album to come out. Sekiro Bingo, no. I think I, I discussed the idea with uh, Mitch. It probably- it wouldn't be as good as like Elden Ring, because you know, like, there's only so many like things you can do in this game. Like, <clears throat> but... That'd be pretty funny. I- I, uh, said to Mitch, like, we should do, like, randomizer races. Chris said he'd be down for it. We were gonna do it, but, like, uh, we were too busy. One weekend, like, a few weekends ago. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Interesting. How the fuck did that happen? I wasn't even paying attention, but... He slipped out somehow. Well, that's gonna lose a lot of time. I must have... death played in the wrong way. Ew. Timeless. Still getting shit getting RNG. Dude, I feel like there's something I have to be doing. Like, because I consistently get bad RNG now. Like, I used to get the fucking lightning, like, so often. Like, the arrow lightning, at, like, right at the beginning of phase three. Like, I would almost always get that. And now I never get it. Like, never ever. It's fucking annoying. <laughs> It's like plus five seconds straight up if you don't get the lightning straight away. It's been time loss after fucking time loss here. Yeah. After Kyobu.
I feel like my mashing is good today, though. Did I actually get to buff? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Uh. Okay. <laughs> that did. I totally fucked that up. Um. Yeah. I wasn't too happy with that though. I was losing fucking too much time. Hmm. Um, maybe I should look at Guinea. It's because I've changed how I do Shishman a bit. I sprint off the edge instead of uh, like dash jumping. So I guess I fuck with my muscle memory. Uh oh. Oh my god, I keep fucking popping out of the corner. What am I doing?
again. This is fucking classic, man. Getting double lightning after double lightning. <laughs> In practice. I do a full run and he'd be like... Uh, I don't know how to do lightning. Uh, I forgore. I was like for a while I was I was actually getting like really good guineas uh, like in actual runs. I was getting like consistent lightning. So like, even if it wasn't double, I was getting like at the most maybe plus three on guinea. But lately it's been at least like plus five like every fucking time. Here we go. See, like, I want at least that every time. Like that first arrow lightning. Alright, I'll be back in a minute.
I'm back. <clears throat> and my uh, sunburn is peeling from like a few weeks ago. Disgusting. Why is it so hard to like keep it? I can't. Th I can't fucking tan. My skin just peels like every time. Up, Hoffman. Thanks, sword. Rip. Time for black coffee. Ramsey, thanks for the good luck. Dude, I'm fucking hungry. No! Fuck me! Could eat the ass out of a low flying pelican right now. Jesus Christ, mate. Just a fool for you. You're having me on, aren't you? Hi, welcome to Chili's. Thanks for the follow, Nyctophobia. What does that mean? <laughs> Woolies. You guys have Woolies? I thought that was Australian. You have Woolworths in South Africa. You're fucking kidding me, aren't you? It's Woolworths. It's like our, uh, fuck, what do you call it? Like Walmart, but in Australia. It's where we get our groceries. Yeah, that's crazy that you have Woolies, though. 
But yeah, we nickname it Woolies, obviously, because we're Australian and we have to nickname everything. <clears throat> yeah, mate, just going down a fucking... <clears throat> just going down to Woolies and then I'll just pop into the fucking... Bottle-o. Get a six-pack of Bundy. Then I'll just pop into the servo. Yeah, mate, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad, good source, eh? Hey? What's up, Daniel? <laughs> I'm surprised you nicknamed him Woolies as well. Yeah, Tesco. Yeah, right. We have like, uh, we also have Aldi, like Aldi and Costco. Costco is like the cheap place where you can buy like bulk stuff. Like it's fucking crazy. Like, like you can pay for a Costco, uh, like membership, and you can just buy bulk food for cheap. But I I never go there. But it's probably a good idea to be honest. I'm sure, that shit blew up over COVID. Yeah, Aldi is is pretty cheap here. I don't I never shop there, but my coworkers raid it. Eh? I'm I've always been a Woolies go my whole life. There's also Coles here. It's it's usually like Woolies versus Coles. Like they're pretty much identical, except I like Woolies more. Mostly I'm I'm pretty biased though because like I've always had, fuck's sake, everywhere I've lived like Woolies has always been the closest thing. Except for when I lived with my sister for like three months or six months or something. Coles was closer, but Woolies is like the default. Used to have a Woolworths in Scotland, really. Yeah, I heard that it used to be. I'm pretty sure I heard it used to be uh, in the UK. I don't know if it still is. So. You watch your fucking dog.
Can you stop doing that? Speedrun. No, this is Patrick. Thank you. Yeah, I always do the. A lot of people don't really know, but yeah, you can actually you do have time to like dodge uh, to the other side of him, but you have to be like super quick. I actually do that on purpose every time, because we we figured out that like if you sort of stand on that side of him, it often baits the jump. That's why I do like the little right left though. Dude, remember like when we did the fucking, the old like Lone Shadow strat where like sometimes he would just idle? Oh, thank god we don't have to do that. That was the most fucking tilting thing, dude. Remember how, like dude, like I don't know, honestly, early game used to be so much worse than it is now, like it's so much better. Back off. Okay. Yeah, run in the corner straight. Yeah. 
And then you would have to like wait for him to run up behind you, but like he wouldn't always do that. Sometimes he would just idle and then the run would immediately die. And it was just out of your control. Which is annoying as fuck, because like, you know, the early game was already reset heavy as fuck, right? Beyond like... Double Canyon and fucking Gyobu, and then Bull, and then you had to worry about Lone Shadow idling. But now Lone Shadow is like... Lone Shadow, if you do Lone Shadow right, it's 100% consistent, like... There's no RNG to it, as long as you do it right. And it's now like a really satisfying, swaggy strut. Yes, monkeys are a part of the run. It's all bosses and mini bosses. I feel like I'm constantly worried about accidentally crouching now. It's annoying that I have to like consciously think about that. Like think about not clenching my controller too hard. And I don't even clench my controller. So... Literally just fucking breathe on the stick and it crouches. Dude, I'm so hungry. My tummy is rumbling. 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 It's coming. Rumbling. Rumbling. Beware. Hungry buff. Cold food percent. Piss buff. No, I'm I'm never gonna do I in my entire life I've never remapped a button on any game because I've always played claw grip and I refuse to relearn because I don't need to. And I know it would completely fuck me up. Didn't even flip. Hollow Knight tips? Dude, I haven't played it in ages, but I do miss it. Dude, I, I felt like I was going to be so shit at that game. 
And I was not the best at first, but I, I feel like I got pretty good by the end, like... You know, once you get all of, like, the abilities and shit, the game just flows so fucking beautifully. Come on. Of course, there we go. Yay! Woohoo! Fucking floating passage! Zero lightning! Yippee! I love this bus. Yeah, like, I thought I'd be shit at, like, platforming and stuff. Because, like, I never play platformers or anything like that. But I, like, I got pretty good at the platforming. Um, just the movement of the game. Like, I beat, um, Path of Pain, like, in relatively quickly. I think it took me, like, 40 minutes or something. And, yeah, and then I beat Pantheon 5, which, like, I would- Dude, people, like, hyped it up to be, like, this, like, impossible challenge. Like, yeah, they, nah, there's no way you're beating Pantheon 5, bro. Don't even try. And then I was like, fuck you. Like, I took that as a challenge. Like, <laughs> and I really wanted to beat it. And so I did, like, after- I think it took me, like, a cup- A day or two, you know, it took me, like- I think I practiced, um... I practiced abs rad for like 10 hours. Fuck, why didn't I skip? Uh, I practiced abs rad for like 10 hours until I was like confident enough in it. And then after I practiced him, I, I beat Pantheon 5 in the very next attempt. Or I'm not sure if it was like the next attempt or it was like the next attempt that reached abs rad like after practicing and you know like because i reached abs rad and then i was like fuck me like i'm gonna have to practice him you know and because you know you can you can select like a certain boss you want to practice but you can only do that once you've reached him the first time so i reached him and then i practiced him for 10 hours like in one single stream and then i the very next attempt that got back to abs rad the final boss i beat it and it was actually like way it went way smoother than I thought. It's actually easier, like, in Pantheon 5 than it is, like, to practice him, so like, alone. Because if you, like, practice him alone, you don't start the fight with a full bar of energy or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't remember. But in, in Pantheon 5, you start it with a full bar and you can just fucking unload, like, um, what are they called? D-Darkness on him. And just, it just destroys phase one. Like, I'm pretty sure I got all the way to, like... You know, I got all the way to the top phase without taking a single hit. Like, I did, like, phase one hitless. Which is, like, the hardest part, probably. And then I must have gotten hit, like, once on the second phase. Yeah, that was like, that was pro that's gonna be like one of the funnest things I've done is Pantheon Five. I I, I had the heart rate monitor when I did it, and <laughs> you can see it in the highlight. I got I think my heart rate got up to like, one eighty. When I was climbing up the top, to finish him off, you know, like when you you're doing the final climb and there's just fucking laser beams coming down. Oh my god. What a masterpiece. And I had the music just fades out. You got lost on the way to fire filing shrine? How? Prince of Per Prince of Per uh Yeah, I don't know. 
maybe. Dude, I love the original Prince of Persia's. Like, I played them way back in the day. You know, the very first one, The Sands of Time. I played that. I think my dad got it, and I watched him play it, and then I played it. And then I got, like, the, the ones after that. Like, I forget what they were called, but there was a couple of sequels. You know, there was that one where, like, you had, like, the whips and stuff. I used to think that was so cool. And you could use, like, this dark mode. Very, uh, blurry memories of it, but two thrones, yeah. That was, like, Assassin's Creed before Assassin's Creed existed. And so, of course, I ended up really enjoying Assassin's Creed as well. I remember getting Assassin's Creed 1 with my Xbox 360 Elite. And, um... I remember, like, thinking how good it looked back then. Because it must have been around the time when I I finally got, like, HDMI cables. Because I remember, dude, like, back on the 360, like, before HDMI, you know, you had the AV cables. Does anyone remember AV cables, dude? Dude, the switch from AV cables, you know, like the yellow, red, and... What was it? Like yellow, red, and fucking white? The switch from AV to HDMI was fucking mind-blowing, dude. Oh my god. Yo, I remember playing... Dude, I remember playing Skyrim on AV cables, and then when I switched to HDMI, I was fucking mind-blown. I was like, oh my god. It looks so good. <laughs> dude, like, I remember, dude, like, Skyrim on AV cables, like, you literally couldn't even fucking read, like, the quest objectives. Like, on, on your pause menu, because it was that pixelated. You remember that transition? Yeah, what's up, Lou? Uh, thanks for good luck, Chris. Yeah, like, Assassin's Creed, like, Assassin's Creed 1 and, like, Skyrim would have been, like, some of the first games. Oh, shit. He saw me. Didn't he? Didn't have my gotcha. Ah, this is bad. I might throw here. Yeah, I'm gonna, okay, he didn't run away, but... I didn't have my gotcha now. Gonna lose a bit of time. What a banger. Yeah, I'm gonna see Bring Me and Sleep Token. Keen for it, eh? Ten more days. Yeah, like, playing Assa- I actually, like, enjoyed Assassin's Creed 1. And, I mean, because it just, like, looks so pretty. But I, it was super repetitive. But I was like, oh, fuck, I may as well get the second one. And then, dude, getting the second one, I did not expect it to be, like, a fucking masterpiece. It was, like, so much better than the first. It's still, like, my favorite AC game. Holy shit, what an improvement. Yeah, 2 is great. 2 made everyone fall in love with Ezio. Ezio Auditori da Firenze. One of the most legendary video game characters was born. Yeah, 
Can you stop backing off? Dude, are you fucking st Why is this happening? He's like backing off slightly and then that's just enough that I don't stagger him. It's fucking annoying. I don't know why that's happening now. Brotherhood was good, but 2 was better, in my honest opinion. Like, I replayed 2 way more than Brotherhood. Brotherhood was probably the second most one I replayed, though. But Brotherhood was basically, like, 2.5. Like, it's just a continuation of 2. I think I just liked 2's story more and like the the areas more. Where like Brotherhood was mainly in Rome, right? I think like the whole game was like just Rome. I was obsessed with Assassin's Creed. It was like one of my favorite games. Man, I got the Ezio collection, but I never played it. I haven't played it. I was really looking forward to it and then, I don't know, I just never got around to playing it. And I, I don't know, I heard some like negative things about it that turned me off from wanting to try it. Hi, welcome to Chile. And I don't know, I, I actually like was in, I was really enjoying the open world AC games actually. Well, especially, not Valhalla as much, but I really liked Odyssey and, or and <clears throat> Origins. Um, so I was hoping they would continue doing that, honestly. Fuck. But they didn't. So. Like, I understand they wanted to try to go back to their roots of, like, you know, Ezio kind of games, where it's, like, not as open world, but... Uh, I don't know. I think the open world was a good... I think the open world was a good idea because honestly like the older Ezio games were getting old right like the combat was just bland uh like you literally you know in, in Ezio games it was literally just like you counter attack everything I think like the open world and like the RPG system really like just evolved Assassin's Creed into something better and like the exploring was really fun Trash? Dude, Odyssey is like one of my favorite. What do you mean? Origins is good though. I think the I think Origins and Odyssey are both way better than Valhalla. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, I really love Odyssey's world, like, Ancient Greece is gorgeous, um, and I, I liked Cassandra as a character, like, I just found her dialogue way more interesting than any main character I've seen in a while. Uh. 
I should have uh, jumped. Yeah, that's the unlucky RNG. <sighs> I probably would have missed the headshot though, because he was up against the wall. Oh yeah, Pei, I think you were saying like how you keep fucking up seven spears, like you get the thing where you fall off the roof, I assume. You should do this thing that I've started doing, like I think I copied it from Pumpkin, where you tanto, like just before you jump up. Like that's, that eliminates that problem. Because yeah, that would happen to me a fair bit too. You either like, you tanto just before you jump up, or you uh... You have to like sort of do like an arc as you're running up to the grapple, which is just slow. Like it's better off just taunt, like beelining it and tantooing. So if you just shit, I didn't have my tanto out, but yeah, that's basically it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, that was scary. Yeah, it's not- it's- you have to do a pretty wide arc to ensure that it, it's consistent. That's why I've just switched to this Tanto strat. It's gotta be faster as well than- or at least- the same speed as tantooing like at the beginning. Oh, you don't tanto at all. Right? Yeah, well, I would just, uh, I would advise to just do, like, wider arcs up to the grapple point. You have to do Valhalla? You returned it? And bought Sekiro instead. Holy, that's based. <laughs> I can't believe you returned her gift. That's so mean. disposition. This is not comfy. Okay, thank god he followed it up with swings at least. I played that pretty well for how awkward that was. Not the best RNG then. Just do it, you'll... Future you will thank you. Random sports rink. Get that up, yeah. You like playing them in order, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter, like, none of them are connected these days. Actually, there is the modern day story, but who gives a fuck about that? 
That also doesn't really make fucking sense. They're getting worse with the modern day story too, I swear. Like, you know, like in in the older like Assassin's Creed games, you would get out of the Animus like you'd get out of the, out of the Animus like multiple times, you know, like in the Desmond games. And like there would be some sort of story progression. And now like in the latest games, you literally get out of the animus like once, like right at the very end of the game. <laughs> it's like for like five minutes. And that's it. Like this it's a joke. But I mean it was kind of annoying like when you got kicked out of the animus, to be fair. Uh like in the older ones. You were like, fuck me, like you just wanted to continue the story. The modern day AC story is a mess now though. Like who the fuck am I even playing as? Some random person. Oh no, what? How the fuck can I not parry that in time? I didn't even block either. I didn't even, usually I block after the seven hits. Oh god, okay. I guess I get another chance at it? What? Okay, never mind. What the fuck was that hitbox? I guess you can't jump out the right side. Uh, it wasn't too early parry, I literally couldn't parry in time. Fuck me, that's annoying. Um. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know why I couldn't parry that in time. Usually I do like seven hits and then I block and then I buff. But I did seven hits and then I buffed. I didn't even block. And I still couldn't parry in time. I don't know, maybe I had to like buffer it. Ugh. Well, now I don't have enough time for another run. That's annoying. <sighs> What's up, Eily? Well, it's not about where I jumped there, because that's not where I lost the run. I couldn't parry his swing in time last time. Oh shit, I increased my sensitivity somehow. Um, okay, what else?
Mm. Fuck. Well, uh, well, my food's here, so I don't know. I, I may as well just raid out because I'm hungry and I can't. I don't have enough time for another one because I got to go to work in like forty minutes. Uh. What in the goddamn fuck? Alright, let's raid Cactus. Sorry, it's a short one. I was hoping I could at least finish that run. But, uh, yeah, silly things. Could have been a better run, though. Could have had better owl RNG. We had just, like, you know, and ape RNG was also bad, so we lost, like, 10 seconds there. Uh, uh, yeah, monkeys incident, Guinea RNG, but other than that, pretty solid. Happy, happy with how I'm, how I'm playing. So, um, I may be back tomorrow. I probably won't be back tomorrow because I'm going to be busy. And I've got the funeral on Friday, but... Uh, other than that, I'll be back after that. Uh, yeah. So have a good day. See you soon. World record soon. So how to cactus? It's his affiliate anniversary. He's doing Sekiro speedruns, and seems to have a face cam. <laughs>